All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Matt, and uh, today we're gonna take a look at the Dang RDA. That's right, that's that matte black Dang RDA. And um, before we get into the uh, into the down low and all that good stuff, this is a uh, this is a collaboration between Twisted Messes and Own Boy OC. This is a drop-in style clamp style. RDA that's just got so many sweet features that we'll talk about in a few minutes, but yeah Plenty of airflow different notches on the AFC and the barrel that kind of show you where your airflow is I'll show that in the up close, but um, we'll dive right into it I'm gonna get this cleaned up and we'll show you the deck. We'll show you the packaging and maybe you guys might just be interested and getting yourself a dang. So here we are on the down low with the dang RDA packaging. So this is what the packaging looks like for your dang RDA. Pretty plain, pretty straightforward. Besides on the front here, we got dang, we got twisted messes and own boy OC. Now this is the matte black version, and this is going to come in four colors. You're going to get matte black, stainless, rainbow, and ultim. On the inside of that packaging, you get a user manual with a funny little note. Um, I'm not going to read all of it right now, but if you get it, you'll get to enjoy that little note. So, user manual, funny little note. And then you get a baggie of spares, which includes um, some O-rings, a squonk pin. This one is actually the fixed non-squonk because I've already installed the squonk pin. And then you get a tri-tool and some extra O-rings. And, of course, you're going to get your Dang RDA. So, let's go over the Dang RDA. So, it's a 24 millimeter um, RDA, it's about 35 and a half from the bottom of the 510 to the top of the drip tip. It is a 810 drip tip, and that is a pretty wide bore. Don't mind some of the liquid. I did clean it up. I just forgot to pull out the yeah, drip tip there to clean that up. So, yeah, let's check out the bottom here. And it does say dang. And it's a little hard to see because, like I said, this is the matte black version. Um, but, yeah, so that's on there. Like I said, we already put the squonk pin in. Um, let's go ahead and open it right up. We'll take this all off. This is your AFC ring, and you can see the notches in this top cap here end up lining up with the center. Back that up right there. So as you're adjusting your AFC, as long as you line those two notches up, you're going to get, now it's a little uh, a little stiff since it's all cleaned up, but you're going to get different your different selections, wide open, top closed, um, you know, bottom closed with the top open and then just completely closed. So as you slide like that, you'll get your different settings. Um, okay, so that's that. So what we'll do is I'm going to screw this on a mod just so that we can take this barrel off a little easier. Be able to give you guys a good look at that. So we'll pop that off. Double O-ring there, and as you can see, that's where you're going to insert your tri-tool to clamp down your coils. So this has an 11 millimeter liquid well, juice well, whatever you'd like to call it, 11 millimeter liquid well, and then your lead slots here, clearly labeled plus and minus, plus and minus, you can see your clamps, um, those are seven millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and I've already pre-cut um, some coils, and then we're gonna take our tri-tool on the side here, and we're just gonna tighten it right down. So tighten it right down. I love these little tri-tools, it makes it very easy and the way that this RDA is set up it's very easy to just drop these right in and um, tighten them right on down and get on your way so yeah we'll do a little something like that and uh, those look pretty good um, but anyway now that we got that all wicked up we'll give you a little squonk action your squonk pin is right in between those two coils so as we squonk up I'm gonna put this top cap on actually now that I think about it this barrel section I guess I should say now as I squonk, you can see it come right up in the center there and just soak the coils. And like I said, 11 millimeters on these liquid wells on the side here. So as long as you don't sit here too, 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 too long, you know, even longer than this, I'm going to let that absorb a little bit. As you can see, it collected around the top right there. And your, your AFC, your, uh, your airflow is right there. So if you over squonk like crazy, crazy squonk, you know, which would be unnecessary at that point, yeah, you are going to get liquid that will definitely end up coming out of your barrel section there but yeah so that's some squonk action for you right up the center over the side we're all squonked up and we have some vapors 
that's pretty angry so let's go back up top let's talk price point let's talk pros and cons on the dang RDA I think it doesn't look too bad on the top side so dual myself but yeah let's go up talk let's talk about it a little more we are back up top with that dang that dang RDA I have um some waffle it says wafer. it's weird the profile on this is a pancake it's a three milligram got it on that top side dual we are rocking right around 0.10 these are some Shane Mr. Saddlehorse Brute Blues coils in here 120 watts let's sit back and give it a little little uh, little toot Let's go ahead and close off the top airflow. So as you can see, let's see if that'll clarify it. The notches that are on the AFC ring and the barrel themselves are perfectly matched up. And as you can see, that whole top row of airflow is closed off. Let's give it a go. So obviously, all the airflow is cut off and at 120 watts, that is a very warm, very dense vape coming off of that. So cloud monster by the way so let's talk price point what is this RDA gonna cost you I'm seeing it over on recoilrda.com for $65 um, like I said it does come in four colors you get the matte black the stainless the ultimate and the rainbow so you have a little variety on that it is a little pricey but I can tell you that this is an awesome RDA it is so quick and easy just to drop your coils right in clamp them in the wicking is pretty simple um, and you can't complain the liquid well is 11 millimeters the lead slots are seven millimeters so it's like it is just built on on being easy for the user so pros and cons um, pros is everything I just mentioned 11 millimeters on the liquid well seven millimeter lead slots um, I'm a big fan of the matte black um, although you know once you get a little liquid on there it's easily uh, easily like ruined I guess you'd say till you wipe it off um, cons the only thing I, I really have to say about this, which as long as you over squonk, you don't have an issue, but as you can see on the top part of the deck there, on either side of the coil, you can see it, it's flat. So if you over squonk the crap out of this, your liquid will come out your, uh, your airflow. So as long as you don't crazy, crazy over squonk, like, you know, you can squonk the crap out of this thing, but if you sit here for five seconds, like hard pressed, you're probably going to come out of the airflow. But as long as you don't do that you should be all set so yeah if you have sixty five dollars and you're looking for an awesome RDA I recommend the dang twisted messes own boy OC over there on recoilrda.com you have to use Google I don't know who else is carrying it I just got it directly through their site because it was easy enough um, so that's all I got um, if you're interested in other content I do a weekly live stream with uh, Logan exhales and myself in the clouds live every Saturday 7 30 p.m. Eastern um, we talk about news, advocacy, we have a beer, some laughs, talk with chat, um, all that good stuff. And um, other than that, you can find me on all the social medias in the link below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, you know, Give this uh, video a like, comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't like. And um, besides that, I hope you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, a good evening, and good night. And remember, just keep vaping. No matter what any crooked politician tells you, as Mr. Good Grim Green says himself, Vape on, guys.